A team of scientists at Oxford University say they've reached a really important milestone in their work to develop a vaccine for coronavirus. They say the vaccine they're developing appears to be safe and triggers an immune response based on early trials involving more than 1,000 people. The government has already ordered 100 million doses of the vaccine. But while the findings are certainly promising, the experts say it's still too soon to know how much protection it actually offers. And larger trials are now underway. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, has the story. Perfect. So much is riding on this. Could the Oxford vaccine help end the coronavirus pandemic? More than 9,000 volunteers have received the jab in the UK, among them these frontline NHS staff in Newcastle. I've seen what COVID can do. The sort of severity of some of the cases has, has been quite um, upsetting at times. So I really wanted to try and help get rid of this disease. All right. Unfortunately, my dad fell ill with COVID and was admitted here for eight days. And I think once it's been that close to home, it, it makes more of a difference. You want, feel like you want to do your bit. Vaccines work by training the immune system to recognise and remember the enemy. In this case, coronavirus. The Oxford vaccine stimulates the creation of specialist Y-shaped proteins known as neutralising antibodies. In the event of future exposure, these should latch on to the coronavirus and prevent infection. It also stimulates the creation of T-cells, another key part of the immune system. These should sweep up after the antibodies and destroy any cells that have become infected. In the first 1,000 volunteers, the vaccine was safe and two doses gave a better immune response than one. The Oxford team says it's a really important milestone. We're really pleased with the, the results uh, that are published today in The Lancet because we're seeing both neutralising antibody responses and T-cell responses that we are optimistic may be associated with protection. But we, we still need to conduct those trials to prove that that's the case in humans. But we don't know if the vaccine will work in the real world and protect people from infection. Trials have begun in South Africa and Brazil, both virus hotspots. So the answer there may come sooner than in the UK. So this is very good and it's very promising to start with. However, we have seen vaccines reaching this point and also failing. So we need to be a little bit careful and not quite uh, popping the Prosecco uh, just yet. Fit you both in at quarter to one. Perfect. These over 70s in Southampton are all signing up to receive the vaccine. Older people are more vulnerable to COVID-19 and our immune system weakens as we age. So whether the vaccine protects them is another key question that needs answering. Yeah, no problem. How do you feel? I feel fine. Good. Perfect. And Fergus is with me. So when viewers ask the key question, Fergus, which is when, when are we likely to see this? Can we give an answer? It's so difficult, Hugh. There's a lot yet we don't know. For example, with the Oxford vaccine, how long that immunity response lasts for? It was only measured for eight weeks in those early volunteers. We'll need it to last for many months, if not years. And remember that many patients who've had COVID-19, many of them, their antibody levels decline quite rapidly after a couple of months. Answers on efficacy, does it work? We might get, we might get by the end of the year, but more likely with most vaccines, it will come sometime next year. And remember that roughly nine out of 10 vaccine trials fail, even some that were promising early on. We're focusing there on the work done by the team at Oxford or led by the team at Oxford. But put that research for us in a broader context, because clearly there are lots of other teams working on possible vaccines too, as you say. Well, there are 23 COVID-19 vaccines in the clinic. Absolutely astonishingly high number. Another 140 in early development. Now, Oxford is one of the front runners. We had encouraging results today from a Chinese coronavirus vaccine. China has more COVID-19 vaccines in the clinic than any other country. The UK government has bought 190 million doses of COVID-19. 
vaccine, 100 million of the Oxford vaccine, 90 million of two other companies, all taking quite different approaches. Now, even allowing for the fact that we need two doses, that's way more than the UK needs. But it's an acknowledgement that maybe one, two, maybe three of those might work, but certainly it's likely some of them will fail. Fergus, again, thanks very much. Fergus Walsh there, our medical correspondent.